Hi, I'm Amy on scissorboy.com. We're going to go check out some awesome hair extensions today. They've got stripes on them to make them look like feathers. So let's go talk to Michael from Pure Extensions. Follow me. Hello, I'm Amy E, and this is Michael Burchard from Pure Hair Extensions. What they do is they use natural hair for their extensions. Of course, 100% human hair, yes. And they also have one that kind of looks like the feather style that's really out right now, um, that's called stripes. It gives you that feathered look with the horizontal lines and the texture that you, you really don't get with uh, traditional color because traditional color is just you know up and down vertical lines and, and the stripes enable you to, to do what the feathers have done which is give you the horizontal lines and that texture feel. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've had a lot of success with it here in the US uh, and in Canada, all over North America. It's been great. Every, everything that we do, all of our packaging is either recycled, recyclable or reusable. Uh, we use soy-based inks, uh, we use biodegradable plastics for our packaging. Uh, you know, the, the first time I went to a hair show, I was just astounded uh, by the amount of packaging Waste. that our industry yeah. uses. Yeah, I, I mean, just think of all the landfills that are full of boxes for straightening irons and, uh, and hair cream and, and all of these other things. It's just ridiculous. So that's, that's really where it kind of formed in my mind. That's where the idea came from, was, was a hair show. Yes. So I've already threaded my threader and um, I put the cylinders on it. So now I'm just gonna pick up a section of hair and start to apply the extension. Um, you wanna do a, a smaller section of hair um, because you don't need that much to actually hold on to the stripe. Okay. So we just pull the hair through. So is this going to break my bank if I want four extensions? How much does this cost? Um, actually, no, it's not going to break your bank at all. If you want like four or five in your hair, um, the average salon price for you would be about $50. Do you show your clients this in the salon? Is that something you would do? Absolutely. Look, you can, you can curl it as well. Absolutely, yeah, because they want to see that there's versatility in cool. the actual product um, because they want to know that they can match it to whatever style they're going to use when they're going out um, or going to work. The other great thing is you can put them in a placement where if the client doesn't want to wear them or show them every day, if they have a more conservative workplace, mm -hmm. they can easily hide them, you know what I mean, or pin them back and then bring them out when they want to like go underneath, out. Like underneath, exactly. like in a bun or something. Exactly. Yeah. So if you get you know, four or five of them, you can braid them up, pin them you know, through your hair and then wear your hair down for the work and then when you get out of work, you can unbraid it and you have a natural style. And there we are. Devin is ready to go out and have some fun. Great, let's give you a spin. Oh, amazing. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> So Tim, what are you going to show us now, a different placement? Yeah, absolutely. With Desiree here, we're going to show you a different placement, um, a little bit more towards the front of the hairline. And we're going to use our organic stripes, so a caramel color, a blonde color, and then a couple teal just to bring out her eyes. And you use a corresponding bead to match their hair color? Correct. Great. That way that there is less of a, a noticeability if they do brush through their hair. Right, because some of my friends have blonde hair and I see them and they have like the black bead. What does that look like to It you? looks <laughs> fake and it we bothers always, me. Yeah, we always call those like bugs. Bugs? Uh, yeah, because it looks like little bugs in the hair if they it use. Really oh, oh, it's in that, oh, it's, oh, it's attached. Oh, yeah, it's attached. Mm -hmm. So again, we're just fastening through um, and it's a quick little fasten. You don't have to press too hard because they do just grab onto the hair and the hair can hold on to the extension itself. So we finished placing the actual extensions through her hair. Right, that took no time at all. <laughs> and now we're just gonna give a light bend to the hair just to keep it in the shape of hers. She has straight hair, so we don't wanna actually curl it, but we'll just give a slight bend to it. Again, you can use your flat iron. You can use... Can you crimp it? You can crimp it. That might it. look cool. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Can the client take it out on their own at home, or do they have to come back to you? Um, if the client can actually not take it out on their own, they would have to come back into the salon and get it done. Um, but again, it's a quick service. And do you charge to take them out? 
you can. Um, I include that into my price, though. That's nice. Of you know you. what I mean? I think that if they're going to invest in it, that way that they get it more and more, Pretty. they can get, have different ones whenever they want them. Do you like it? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, looks great. Absolutely. She's going to fly away. A <laughs> little bit of excitement for her. Yeah, I really want to know what everyone at home's favorite color is and what they want in their hair and where they would place it because there's so many options in the back. There are many the options. Foot. I could even do a little one in my fringe. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and that's really popular too. All right, get out cut. of here. I, I, it's my turn. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Well, thank you so much for showing us all about the hair extensions. Absolutely. Let's thank throw you. up a big snip snip. Ready? Snip snip. snip. <laughs> See you next time.